Hi everyone, welcome to the Oak Hill Industrial Railroad. Let's do some switching. Well, good morning everybody. Narrating this from the couch. Here's some background noise. It's going to be the, uh, I've got compression pumps on both my legs to prevent clotting. <laughs> and the uh, other thing is the ice pump. Keep an ice on my, ice water on my leg, but... See how, see how it sounds and see if I have to re-record it. For an Oak Hill today, we're going to switch um, Cedar Heights Clay. Now, the Jesse didn't do us any favors. They didn't block the cars for us, so it's actually going to take us a couple sessions to switch uh, Cedar Heights Clay. we got to sort the cars out. Of course, the first thing we have to do is pull the uh, empties. Actually, they're not full. Uh, two full cars of bulk clay, and then the box car is full of bagged clay. So while the locomotive is pulling south on the main, I'll go ahead and physical therapist has been here twice to the house and says everything looks good. Um, they put a nerve block in during the surgery. Uh, Thursday was pretty good. But it wore off like at 4.30 in the morning last night, and I knew it immediately because it was a huge difference in pain. But once I got the pain meds in me, it was... A lot better. Just took a while for him to calm down. But, so I'm narrating this on Friday afternoon. Again, I'll check the <laughs> recording when I'm done, and if it's too much background noise with those pumps and stuff, I'll just uh, turn them off for a little bit, because ice machine is supposed to be 30 on, 30 off anyhow. And they said that the uh, compression things are most important at night, more when I'm sleeping more so than during the day, so I can turn everything off. Got a pretty good support system. My uh, ice pump wasn't working, so my friend just, uh, he's a pretty good engineer. He just took it home and got it cleaned up and hooked back up. My next door neighbor brought me some cupcakes. <laughs> and the two teenage girls next door have been walking the dogs for us, so. Everything's going well so far. I've recorded enough videos so I can do four weeks if I do one one every Saturday. So that's my plan, and hopefully by that time I can uh, stand up enough to where I can actually start doing some operating. So we're pushing the cars, and we'll leave them on the main. Uh, push them up by the depot. Just 
been a beautiful week here, weather-wise. Today it's uh, a little gloomy. Might get some rain. Uh, it's cooled off a little bit, but it's still about 60 degrees. Not too bad. This to be a cool weekend, though. While well, I'm here in Thanksgiving, is going to be uh, pretty frigid. So the uh, yellow covered hopper you see there on the end, it's going to go into spot two, uh, but the boxcar behind it is actually destined for the brickyard, but this covered hopper behind that is going to go into spot one. Actually, I should say spots three and four, they're underneath the, uh, the bulk loading shed there. First thing we're going to do is put the uh, yellow covered hopper on the uh, park it over top of the diamond and then we'll go get the other covered hopper. I have to lay with my feet um, elevated it's a, uh, quite a bit, so it's sort of uncomfortable, but it's supposed to help reduce the swelling. All right, so now we're going to go back and pick up the other uh, covered hopper. Again, it's just on the other side of that boxcar. Let's use the boxcar as far as a handle. Now 
after we spot them, we'll, uh, we'll end the video. I do have a little segment on the end just uh, showing our, one of our fat cats sitting beside me. I haven't really done any work yet on any of the buildings uh, that I talked about. They say not to operate, you know, motor vehicles when you're taking, like, uh, pain medicine because the stuff I've got is pretty strong. Uh, so I don't think I should be using an X-Acto knife either. So until I'm off the pain medicine, I'm not going to be doing anything. Another thing is I can't get my feet under my workbench and I'm supposed to keep my leg elevated so it, uh, uh, I have to figure out a way to do it on the kitchen table or something when I do I start working on it so this will be the only video you see uh, this week I believe So after the cars get under the loading shed, I'll uh, uncouple them and we'll end the video there. Like I said, I've got a 20 or 25 seconds of our cat bunny. Because uh, I know some of you guys like seeing the pets. I'm not going to do like three or four minutes like Jawtooth does, but uh, I'll do a little bit every now and then. Everybody stay safe. So here's the rarely seen bunny. Or I call her the bunny, like the bears. Very, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say, I want to call it sedate. <laughs> she doesn't move much, as you can tell. She needs some exercise. But she's a, a real sweetie, and she loves my wife.